This is the longest running primetime sitcom ever. Your mother seems really upset about something. I better go have a talk with her during the commercial. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be taking a look at the history of The Simpsons. Cartoons don't have any deep meaning, they're just stupid drawings that give you a cheap laugh. <laughs> The show was a satirical parody of the American working-class lifestyle, and it was originally pitched by Matt Groening as a series of animated shorts in 1987. It debuted as a string of 60-second spots for the variety series The Tracy Ullman Show. Finally, The Simpsons were given their first half-hour episode by 20th Century Fox on December 17, 1989. You will not be getting a tattoo for Christmas. Yeah, if you want one, you'll have to pay for it out of your own allowance. All right! The cartoon detailed the average American lives of The Simpsons and was instantly acclaimed by critics and loved by audiences of all ages. The family was based in the fictional community of Springfield, which was influenced by the creator's hometown of Portland, Oregon. Oregon. Interestingly, the show's main characters were all directly named after Groening's own family, with the exception of the hellish 10-year-old troublemaker, Bart. This character was meant to represent Groening himself, and his name was an anagram for the word brat. Soon you will be at peace. Hey, quit it, Bart. Quit it! Hey, quit it, quit it, quit it, quit it, quit it Mom! Bart, don't use a touch of death on your sister. Other characters included Homer, a childish father who gave bad advice and worked at the nuclear power plant. You're the best father a boy could ever have. Hey, son. Now you've got little hands. Can you reach under that mower and pull out that skate? <laughs> Never mind. Marge, a loving and nurturing mother who tried to maintain peace within the family. I made it with Cheetos, just like you like it. If the sauce is too thick, I can add more root beer. Lisa, the extremely smart eight-year-old. I like you too, Milhouse, but not in that way. You're more like a big sister. No, I'm not. Why does everybody keep saying that? And baby Maggie. Maggie! Bart, I asked you to watch your sister. I tried to stop her, but she overpowered me. Bringing the cast to life as Homer and Marge were Dan Castellaneta and Julie Kavner, who were already cast members of The Tracy Ullman Show. In addition, Yardley Smith and Nancy Cartwright were added to voice Lisa and Bart respectively. I know I didn't hold up my end of the bargain, but can I go to Camp Krusty? Yeah, sure. I didn't want you hanging around all summer anyway. <laughs> <laughs> While these actors would voice much of the extended cast, Hank Azaria came on board to bring to life such fan favorites as Moe, Chief Wiggum, and Apu while Harry Shearer took on roles like Ned Flanders, Principal Skinner, Mr. Burns, and Smithers. No time for jokes, Smithers. Come along. We're going womanizing. Oh, goody. Together, these characters and their situations lampooned many aspects of American culture, society, politics, and history. This was accomplished by involving countless caricatures and guest appearances in order to make fun of real-world events and personalities. I can't believe you never heard of me. I'm a very popular entertainer. Oh, well, of course I've heard of you. I mean, you'd have to be living under a rock not to know. What'd you say your name was? Michael Jackson. Doesn't ring a bell. Although The Simpsons family was depicted as highly dysfunctional, the show placed much of its focus on examining their relationships and bonds with one another. That's odd. He's outside digging. Probably digging for drugs. There's no drugs out there. No, of course not. The show's annual Halloween special, called Treehouse of Horror, was an enduring fan favorite. Marge, that curse is just a lot of silly superstition. Right, Lisa? See? Two means yes. The Simpsons became famous for their hallmarks and running jokes as well. These included the ever-changing opening couch sequence, Bart's chalkboard gag, Lisa's saxophone solo, and dozens of words and catchphrases that have made their way into everyday use and even the dictionary. Go! 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 Woohoo! Woohoo! In 2007, after 18 seasons on TV, The Simpson Family was brought to the big screen in their very own feature film, appropriately titled The Simpsons Movie. Jerry. Oh, oh. <laughs> you little, I'll teach you to laugh at something that's funny. A beloved and multiple award-winning animated series, The Simpsons is a one-of-a-kind program that continues to make us laugh and to reinvent itself for new audiences even two decades after its creation. Son, 
If you really want something in this life, you have to work for it. Now, quiet. They're about to announce the lottery numbers. 